time here in Syracuse, New York. I'm going to take a look at the only upside down traffic light in the entire world, I'm told. Right here on Tipperary Hill, just west of downtown Syracuse, New York. Just a block or two down the street are the copper domes of St. John the Baptist, a Ukrainian Catholic church over on Tompkins and Wilbur Avenue. The church spires have been gracing this neighborhood since 1913. As I work my way southwest on Tompkins Street, I come to Coleman's here at the corner of South Lowell Avenue. A long time and very popular Irish pub, Coleman's was established back in 1933 and served this predominantly Irish community. Today, Coleman's is a fixture here on Tipperary Hill and continues to be a center of Irish culture and heritage here in Syracuse. It all started when Peter A. Coleman purchased the neighborhood grocery store in 1933, transforming it into a small pub. Well, it was an instant favorite amongst the Irish locals and has thrived ever since. To this day, the pub remains in the Coleman family. Here's the founder, Peter A. Coleman, forever relaxing outside his business. Right across the street from Coleman's is the Cashel House, an agent of Irish imports. A testament to just how strong the Irish influence is in this community, sporting a wide variety of genuine, made in Ireland, merchandise, and even a few souvenir Tipperary Hill traffic light items. Further up Tompkins Street, here at the corner of Burnett Park Drive, I have found the infamous upside down traffic light. What makes this light unique is the fact that the red light is on the bottom and the green on the top. Where every other traffic light in the United States, the green is on the bottom and the red on the top. Here at the same corner, there's a memorial replete with four bronze statues enshrining the so-called neighborhood rock throwers. The father forever pointing toward the source of the community's consternation and the focus of their rock throwing activities. The story goes back to 1925, when the city of Syracuse began to install traffic lights. This very Irish neighborhood took issue with the fact the city had the audacity to install a light with a red light above the green one. Well, this was a complete affront to the community. All they saw was a red light representing the British flag above a green light representing the Irish, a horrible symbol of British oppression over the Irish, and the city saw fit to dangle it from wires right here in the middle of their neighborhood. When efforts failed to persuade the city to correct their egregious error, the super secret society of rock throwers took things into their own hands. It wasn't long before the light was extinguished by well-aimed stones. City crews repaired the light, only to find it broken again a few days later. Well, it took a while, but eventually the city of Syracuse got the message. A newly repaired light, one with green on the top, the way it should have been right from the very beginning, was found hanging in the middle of the intersection. Balance restored once again to this Irish neighborhood, the mysterious outages ceased. The light has remained this way ever since, and now stands as a symbol of the neighborhood's attitude toward England. Well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Should you find yourself in Syracuse, find your way over to Coleman's Pub for a pint and stroll down a few blocks to see the only upside down traffic light in the US. And remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride and thanks for watching. <laughs>